Excellent. So, the other thing you see, she's using a whistle. Uh, in ring sport, you're allowed to use a whistle uh, for a recall. And so what we do is we teach a whistle recall because there are exercises in uh, ring sport protection where the dog has to out and stay with the helper. And there are other exercises where the dog has to let go and come back from the helper. So in order to make it clear for the dog, we use a whistle when the dog's going to come back and our voice when the dog's going to stay with the helper. So we imprint a whistle recall. But you can imprint a whistle recall with any puppy. My puppies all learn to come on both my voice and a whistle. There's no reason that you can't have more than one. So if I call my dog, Fido, come, he's going to come running. If I blow a whistle, he'll come running as well. Right? So, and it's really easy. As soon as you've taught your dog to come when they're called, you can go here and your dog will come. Then you just take out a whistle. You let your dog run around. You go, Brr, here, reward him. Brr, here, reward him. And pretty soon the whistle means the same thing as here. Right? So you can add another one. They're nice for hiking too. Like, so if you hike with your dogs and stuff, I teach my dogs a whistle recall because it carries much better when you get out at a distance. So I get out in the trees and the woods, the whistle really carries well. So if I want to recall the dog, the dog gets over a rise and I want to call him back. They hear that better than they hear my voice. Good. If you'd like to watch some of the free streaming videos that I have on my website, you can go to this web address now. I have a number of uh, free streaming training videos and then a number of product videos also.